We bought a house from 1968 in October 2019, which we are currently renovating. In this series, I share the process and final outcome with you guys room by room. First meal in the new house, the entrance hall is done. What you doing? We're lucky to get some help from friends and family every once in a while, but other than that, this is all a project my husband and I have together. I'm so tired. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the first episode in my home makeover series. Today we're gonna have a look at the bedroom. You've already seen some snippets of the bedroom. I've already made a wardrobe tour if you want to check that out as well, if you want to see how I've structured my wardrobe and how it ended up looking. So in today's video, I wanted to share the entire process from the start to the finished product. I've been filming along the way in the process, so some of it is a bit messy and all over the place, but I've been trying to remind myself to pick up the camera every Sunday since we got the keys to our house. I was first October, three and a half months ago now. So three and a half months in and we're pretty much renovating the entire house on the inside. If you want an empty house tour, I'll leave it here on the screen for you guys so you can see what the house looks like before we started. It's a house from 1968 and it's been partly renovated, but then we've picked up on some things that they just, you know, they never managed to renovate those to kind of give the house a common feel all throughout the house, if that makes sense. So we wanted to make it feel more modern, more light and more airy, more our, our style and just, yeah, give it a nice round of TLC and it's been taking a lot of time. We're finished with about one third of the inside of the house, hoping that we'll be done by the summer time because then we can move out in the garden and then continue renovating out there. Hi, Oscar. We're gonna be saying, Yeah. So before showing you the final bedroom, let's just turn back time to three and a half months ago when we first got the keys to the house. We started like renovating yesterday evening. So um, we started tearing out the old wardrobe over here and that's the wall that we're gonna knock down. So we're gonna get like this space that we have here is gonna be the exact same thing on this side and then we're gonna build in like a huge not a huge like a bigger wardrobe kind of similar to the one that we had in the old house with the big mirrors that with slide away doors so it's day seven of our house renovation Modern is in here in the bedroom where we've seen a lot of progress too. We've torn down all of the old wallpapers, all done with that. We just need the final thing behind the radiator. Partly build out the new wall over here. Gonna put in that big uh, wardrobe with the sliding doors right here. So one of Modern's friends is coming tonight and I think they'll finish up the last bit of the wall right here. since we got the keys and we have come a long way already. It doesn't really look like a house right now, but it's gonna at some point. So we're just powering through the renovation. We've started to put up a new ceiling in the bedroom. We've closed up that hole as well. Remember we knocked down that piece of wall, so that's all built up again. The ceiling has been closed up. The floor has been closed up as well. So we're putting up a new ceiling. Hello guys, it's the 20th of October. It's almost three weeks ago since we got the keys for the house. And um, yeah, just wanted to check in and give you a bit of an update. I'm about to tear down the ceiling in the master bathroom. So starting to do a bit of progress in here. So the bedroom is actually starting to really look like a room now. So we have the new ceilings up. We've given it the first like, the final spot lately. Plaster. Well? Plaster. Plaster, yeah. Given the ceiling, the first couple of yeah rounds with plaster, we've plastered the new walls as well without the old wallpaper. 
So it's slowly starting to look like a room in here. Yesterday we picked up the new floors for the bedroom. So hopefully next week or next Sunday when I give you a, a new update, we'll have the bedroom almost done. Today is an exciting day. As you can see, the carpet is gone. And we're about to put up the, the yeah, kind of like a glass felt that it has a bit of structure. So we're gonna put that up on the walls, kind of like wallpaper, but just much better than wallpaper. At least that's what we think. And then we're gonna put that up. We're gonna start with this wall and then we're gonna paint it hopefully tomorrow. It takes a lot longer than you would think because I, I think I kind of hope that the bedroom would be finished by this weekend or at least by today, by the end of today. Um, good things just take time. That's just how it is. And now that it's completely dry, we've put on some tape here, some like, what was that called? Like paper masking tape. tape. Yeah, masking tape, exactly. Um, just to smooth out the edges, because as you can see, they're very like wonky and not very straight. Um, when you paint a wall like this, you actually just paint it like almost completely up against the white walls that you might have, um, if you wanted to go all the way up to the edge anyway. And then you put on this masking tape, once it's completely dry, it's very important that it's completely dry, otherwise when you take the tape off, it will like rip off the paint. So um, you put on the masking tape and then you paint um, a strip of the same paint that you, this, this wall. So like right now I'm painting a strip of this um, gray color along the line of the masking tape. And the reason why it's very important that you do this is because then you kind of close the masking tape at the edge. So that when you give the white walls the last coat of paint, it won't go through the tape and then once it's all dry and you're finished painting the, the white walls again you can take off the tape and you'll be left with a very straight line here from this colored wall and I think that's it's gonna look very great right now it just looks kind of sloppy and not very nice so just wanted to kind of explain that to you guys because I had trouble in matching it in my own head <laughs> so I think it's it's always easier to get like a visual picture of things so just in case you have a wall you want to paint yourselves. So hopefully we'll have um, the floors coming in maybe Sunday evening. We're hoping on that and then we only need like small bits and bobs like the trim. Uh, yeah the trim for the windows and we need window bench I think it's called as well down here. So only final touches we're also painting the doors right now because they're not completely white. They're kind of like an off-white so we're painting those right now as well. So now we still have the first room done, and um, even though it's been hard, it's been completely worth all of the sweat and all of the hard work. And the ceiling, everything just turned out great. I'm gonna get on with painting. See you! So now I've closed up the um, masking tape with the same gray paint as on this wall, and then obviously I just need to give the inner corners a few more coats than these walls. So if your walls are already white, you just need to paint the inner corners here a couple of times with the same white color you have on the other walls to straighten out the lines. The bedroom is painted and I'm about to take off the masking tape. What's that? Who's this guy? Safety first. Yeah. Oh, that is so satisfying. I'm in the bedroom right now. Morten's right here behind me. 
And today is an exciting day because we've started to put down the floors. We've got lots to do before we move in. ordered one of those no um, advertisement please stickers for the mailbox this is getting out of hand so this is pretty much the same state as I showed you the last time as per usual, as per usual. and uh, we're moving in in less than a week <gasps> help let me show you the bedroom da, 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 da. so this is where we're gonna put the bed hey Oscar <laughs> I'll tell you guys more about the whole renovation. This is a madhouse! I'm just waiting for Martin to meet me here now and then we're gonna go in and look at closets. I'm so excited. It's one of like the final bigger things that we we still need in our bedroom. Probably won't have it straight off uh, like to begin with because there's like I think at least two to three weeks wait on these closets because they have to make it to fit your your room or whatever room that you want this closet in and we're gonna make it so that it's from the floor and then all the way up to the ceiling. Jo, det var sgu da sådan, det var indrettet også, men jeg kan godt lide den her. At der er sådan en lille en her, man kan lave, eller hænge lange ting, og så en her, som er til kort over ting. No, det er okay, jeg finder noget. Here's the different doors that you can get. We just want plain white ones, I think. So a beige in. one. I like the white one. This is like letting Morden loose in a candy shop. Mm -hmm. and I tell myself I'm over you. I think we've made a bit of a change of plans for tonight. I think we might just stick around, hang around in the apartment. And buy tools? <laughs> no. <laughs> hang around in the apartment and maybe eat some takeaway and just have a chilled night because this entire weekend we're gonna be working in the house so maybe just recharge for a little while and just hang out. What's that? It's a radio. You have a radio. I mean, look at it. It's very very awesome. nice. I think we better get back to closet lady or otherwise she won't be able to find us. Come on. We just received our new wardrobe this morning so we're about to set up camp I was about to say um in the uh, bedroom put on some music and get cracking with this wardrobe I think it's gonna take us probably all night let me just show you how how many pieces there are here so we've got some pieces here we've got some drawers and some stuff over here we've got some shelves over here some more shelves and then some other pieces there and then those big pieces are for the big sliding doors. Day two of building the wardrobe. This is taking a lot longer than we thought at first. Than, than you thought. <laughs> than I thought. Everything here is taking a lot longer than I thought. It's a good thing that you have patience. Yes, because, and I didn't tell you. Because I don't. This has been my office today, guys. In the bathroom. work went into the, this this very room like this is gonna be one of those rooms one of the rooms that we've put most work into because we also had to change the floors 
We knocked down that wall that took a lot of time and effort. So in terms of sustainability, we've of course tried to make the process as sustainable as we possibly could. We've already thought about it a lot along the way because we were actually considering building a new home, but we just felt like, you know what, there's no need to build a new home. There are plenty of great homes out there already that you know could be renovated. So we decided to do that instead of building a new one. I'm also gonna be working on a blog post, which I'm not sure by the time this video goes up if, if it will have gone live as well, but there'll be a lot more information in there in terms of the products that we've been using, what kind of paint we've been using. We've been using um, eco-friendly paint, for example, or eco-certified at least. The wardrobe is all also made from sustainable wood. So we've really tried our best to choose the most sustainable materials. And then of course, when we've been tearing things down, we've we drove it off to the recycling station so that it could be recycled accordingly. Um, so really we've tried to lower our impact as much as we possibly can, but obviously there will be a lot of waste when you're building a home like this, when you're renovating it, there will be some waste, but we've tried our best to make it as sustainable as possible. So if you want to know more about that, then I will leave if it's already live, otherwise I'll make sure to leave it in the comments or in the description box down below once it is live. I will write a blog post with more in-depth details of all of the products that we bought stuff like that. Without any further ado, I think that we should have a look at the bedroom now. Right, so I think I'm gonna walk in this door because this is a door that I walked in through in that very first clip when I showed you guys the very first snippet of the bedroom before starting the renovation. And as you might be able to tell, it looks quite different today. So here we have the bed, which we have had for, I think, seven years. Best bed ever is from a brand called Hoya of Scandinavia. So it's a Scandinavian brand. Lamp is from Ikea. It's the same that we had in our old house. And I just love that lamp so much. So I just knew that we we had to have the same lamp. <laughs> I don't know what it is about. It's sort of like a dreamy cloud. And I think it fits perfectly with our poster as well. We have a nice little vintage chair over here, which sometimes turns into Morten's chair drope. He like leaves his clothes there. We've got bedside tables here are actually a shelving unit that used to be above our TV in our old house. But I don't think we're gonna put them up when the living room is done anyway. So we just decided to use these as bedside tables. We didn't have any bedside tables before. We kind of just had two little shelves that we've hung up on the wall. Yeah, works perfectly as bedside tables. No need to buy any new ones. We have our homemade staircase for the animals because we have bed animals as you can see they're both right here oscar and luna and then we have this amazing wardrobe over here as you also saw in the diary process of building this amazing bedroom it took some time putting it up and then this door is um, the entrance down to the other bedrooms and the office as well we move in towards the bedroom here we have Another staircase over here, also homemade. <laughs> Gotta have an entrance to the bed on each side, of course. We have that same bedside table over here. Really considered putting up some more pictures on the wall because I really like this dark gray color with wooden frames, but I actually like the way that it looks right now. I'm, I'm not really sure I want to, to hang up any pictures. We'll see, maybe we'll put up some more along the way. But right now we're sticking to this piece poster that we had in our old house as well. I think it's a perfect poster for a bedroom. Um, so just let it just have all of these negative words and then an umbrella that kind of protects the piece word. It's from all posters, by the way, but I've actually seen it on Amazon as well, if any of you are interested. Then over here, we have a little temporary desk office situation. This is not gonna stay here because we have a home office. It's just not done yet. So in time, I will move my things down there. But um, the desk is antique. This is an heirloom from my late grandmother. Love this desk so much. I actually want to put it in the hallway, um, but right now it serves perfectly as a desk. It has a nice little drawer here as well for all my mess. So, And then the chair is from Ikea. It's the best chair ever. Really great investment because I sit here quite a lot and the old one I had just give, gave me like back problems. And regarding the wardrobe, like I just said before, 
I recently made a wardrobe tour, so if you want to have a closer look at the way that I've structured things, definitely go check out that video. So in our old house, we had a bare wall at the end of the bed to hang up a bigger TV. We still have that TV, by the way. But since we have the wardrobe occupying this entire wall right here, we didn't really have many opportunities. And we love watching TV in bed. We're just that kind of couple. So we actually thought a lot about it and we decided to put this small TV that we also already had inside of our wardrobe. So we just put in a bracket here and then you can pull out the TV like this and then you can watch TV from bed. Just gonna sit down here between my two fur babies. So there you have it guys, that is our final bedroom. We might change up the decor along the way, like not a lot, but like I said, I'm, I've been considering hanging up some more posters and like small wooden frames on this wall, but right now I just can't get myself to do it because it's just so perfect right now and you've spent so much time tearing down old wallpaper, plastering it, sanding it, plastering it again, sanding it again, <laughs> painting it several times and you just get this sense of, like you get much more sense of respect for what you've done that you're like afraid to make holes in the walls and nail things onto the walls because you don't want to ruin anything. A lot of blood, sweat and tears has, has been put into the work of just like this room. We also have the kitchen done, we have both of the bathrooms. The small bathroom is almost done, the big bathroom is done, the entrance hall is done and I've decided to part up the house renovation series like this so that you won't get the whole thing all at once. I will be doing a complete house tour at some point when we're completely done. So yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed coming along with us in the house makeover process. Um, I can't wait to share even more with you guys. I have a highlight over on my Instagram where I have shared images and video from the very start and then up until now and I will keep, keep adding on stories to that highlight if you want to stay updated on how far along in the process we are. Also created a TikTok profile with some more like before after snippets. I'm not really completely sure on this whole TikTok thing. I thought I just wanted to try it because all the wise people say that that's the place to be these days. Um, so I'm trying to share some house reno before and after footage over there as well. I'll link my profile down below if you're interested. Um, consider it opening up a home account on Instagram. So if that's something you would rather want me to do than having that TikTok profile, please let me know down below. I'd love to hear what you guys prefer. Otherwise, make sure to subscribe to my channel because there will be a lot more videos about the home makeover process. And like I also mentioned before, I will be doing a full home tour at some point when we're done on the inside. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.